الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى is the only one worthy of worship subhana and Allah tabarak wa ta'ala possesses divine names and attributes in Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah we affirm those names and attributes that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has affirmed for himself and what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has affirmed for Allah tabarak wa ta'ala in the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Allah the Almighty says about himself subhana in the Quran Qala tabarak wa ta'ala fi kitabihi al-kareem huwa awlu wal akhir wa zahir wal batin wa huwa bi kulli shay'in alim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse he says he says he is the first and the last the ascendant and the intimate and he is of all things all knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all aware and is, has full knowledge we learn from this verse, huwa awlu wal akhir wa zahir wal batin wa huwa bi kulli shay'in alim. He is the first, the last, the high and the close and he is of all things uh, all knowing. Subhana. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us the meaning of this verse. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam by saying, when Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, <coughs> the first, it means Allah is the one before whom there is none no other. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the first. Hu awwalu. Wal akhiru. And he is the one after whom there is none. Wal zahiru. And he is the one above whom there is none. Wal batin. And he is the close. There is nothing nearer than him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is closest to his creation. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the, these are divine attributes of Allah. Meaning that Allah has more knowledge of his creation than the creation knows of itself. No matter what the scientists uh, try to discover, no matter what the ver uh, various individuals know about one another, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, has more knowledge and is closer to his creation than the creation is to itself. He is the creator of the heavens and earth. He knows his creation better than it knows itself. He has full knowledge of, over all things. And he, is, and he has full knowledge of everything. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. He created you. He knows you better than you know yourself. So the believer believes in these, this affirmation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's ilm. That Allah possesses ilm. He possesses... He is... He is, uh, he is full knowledge of everything. Whereas us, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation, our knowledge is so limited. We can't compare. There is nothing like Him. And He is the all hearing, all seeing. We're limited in our sight, we're limited in our hearing. But Allah is fully aware of all things. So there is no way that you can hide from Allah or hide your deeds from Allah. But in fact, you have to be fully aware that your Lord Subhana is fully aware of all that you do. And we ask that Allah the Almighty accepts our good and forgives our evil and blesses us with al nafiyah ورزقاً طيبة وعملاً متقبلاً وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم